So now here's my switch for here's here's my keyboard. You know, this is my big key that says three on it. My big fat finger comes down and presses it. And what it's going to do? It's going to click that there, and that's going to be now zero volts. Because remember, our pull-up resistor previously was at plus five, but now that that is grounded, that's our zero volts, and it's going to give me an output for a three. Which what is if it's active low? What is uh, what's it going to look like here? And that's my component of three, so three would ordinarily look like that. Okay, what happens if I press the three and the six key simultaneously? Well, six highest order precedence, you know, it's that's priority encoding. It's going to produce the complement of six. What was the complement of six? We already did this one. So it's zero, zero, one. And that is the complement of six. Six would ordinarily look like that. Okay, so that's the 74147. Okay, so there's another animal out there called the 74148. And you think it would be like super high tech because it's like the next model. You know, I don't know if you ever think that way. 74140, 74147. 74, 148. Well, that's not really true. But uh, anyways, it only has eight inputs, eight active low inputs. And whereas previously the 74, 147 had 10 inputs, well, you're like, well, this is a piece of junk because it only has eight inputs. But it's got some special connections that allow you to use it in conjunction with other 74, 148 chips in a master slave relationship. So that way you can expand your number of inputs to however many you want to. So I'll go ahead and draw this 74, 148, what that looks like. And this is what a 74, 148 looks like. Here you've got your eight active low inputs, which was very similar to what we saw up here in the 74147, or if you wanted to set it up in a keyboard combination, just use a pull-up resistor uh, to that individual pin and then a uh, means of shorting it to ground. And then uh, we've got right here is our complement, our three-bit complement, because remember, you can represent zero to seven using only three bits, so you don't need that fourth bit there. Um, so those are our outputs three active low outputs. But now you see these EI, EO, and GS. So EI is enable input. That's all it does is it just activates the device. And because it's got an active low indicator on it, a zero volts will enable the device. That's pretty simple there. But now an EO, what does the EO do? Well, that is enable output. Basically, when it's uh, when this particular chip that we're talking about here, it's receiving one of these active low inputs there. This EO goes high. Okay, so what that means is if I sent that EO signal to another seventy four one forty eight chip EI. So basically, that enable out is being fed to another chip's enable in. It's saying, shut up. Basically, this is the master. This is the slave. Okay? When the master has this enable output, uh, basically, uh, when it says one on the enable output, it's going to tell anything that it's hooked up to its enable in, silence. Because GS, I'm talking. Because you got to figure out who's talking in this whole relationship here. So anytime that GS is zero volts, it means this is the chip that's talking. Now, uh, here, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'm going to draw a little bit simpler diagram here. And here we go. Here's 74, 148. It's two of them hooked up uh, left and right. And the guy on the left is the master. So its EO is going to the EI of the slave. OK, so now um, what's happening here, let's say uh, there's some valid low input. 
a zero volts is coming in here. This GS is going to say zero volts. Hey, I'm talking, the master's talking. And this G, excuse me, this EO is going to go high and basically disabling our slave. So this is disabled. And our GS right here is going to be one saying, I'm not talking. Now, let's say there is no input to the master. One second, let me get rid of all these guys. No input to the master. So it's saying, well, I'm not talking, one volt. You may speak, zero volts. Because this, this is implying too, by the way, that the master has always been enabled with uh, zero volts there. So it's sending a zero volt signal to the slave's enable input. And let's say the slave is now getting a valid low input. What it's going to do is the GS here, because it's active low output, it's going to say zero volts, I'm talking. And this three bit code right here, whatever it is coming out, that's valid. Okay. But now check this out no information is being sent to the master, no information is being sent to the slave. Same situation here regarding the master. It says, enable output, it's sending a zero volts to the enable input. It says GS1, I'm not talking. Um, slave, no input here. What's going to happen? GS is going to go to 1. I'm not talking either. OK, so same thing with a 74147. To get an active low input, just use a setup, a, a keyboard setup like that. All righty, I think that is about it for encoders. And I think we're going to move on to code converters next.